Han San Chu, who is CEO of uh, Oblabs, and they've got a truly fascinating device. Now, I want to preface this by saying we're not yet FDA approved here, and we're not ready for prime time, but this is where the future of medicine is going. We're able to do functional MRIs, which allow us to look at the metabolism of the brain and give us indications as to, we can actually diagnose conditions of depression and bipolar disease, and uh, some diagnoses with uh, ADHD, looking at functional MRI studies. But functional MRI studies are very expensive to do, and you need to go to a functional MRI center. What these guys have done is come up with a device that can actually be used in the office. And if the technology pans out, very exciting to be able to make diagnoses on the spot. Can you tell us about what you've done? Well, uh, this is a device that uh, will work kind of like the functional MRI uh, in that it uh, detects the changes in the oxygen levels in the hemoglobin in the blood flow of your prefrontal for cortex. And that way, what it does is it's able to monitor your brain conditions. Um, it uh, would be able to tell you um, exactly what areas of your prefrontal cortex has been activated by uh, either your symptoms or conditions of your body or the act, um, actions that you take real time, it would show you what you are doing at that time and how that affects or uh, correlates to the brain. So this is very exciting technology. Uh, hopefully we may be get to, able to do some work with them and do some research with this uh, in our own center. But we're looking at something that is truly going to change the face of diagnostics in medicine uh, over the next couple of years as the data gets uh, accumulated and uh, we've got enough of a reference and enough people so that we can understand exactly how to interpret this, especially uh, comparing it to functional MRIs. Anything else you want to tell us about this? Well, I want to mention that um, our device compared with um, functional MRIs is completely portable. It is, um, you know, compared with other near-infrared spectroscopies, have high resolution as well. So, um, you know, uh, we could use this uh, device um, as we fit, uh, anytime, anywhere, um, and uh, gather information that uh, functional MRIs probably have not been able to uh, because of its restrictions to, or limitations to the actions that the subjects or patients can take. The other major breakthrough here is that in a functional MRI you need to get in a long tube and you need to sit in that That's tube right. for about 45 minutes. This is something, if you can focus on this thing for a second or two, this little device, this is it. This is the whole thing and it sits on top of your head. You can do it in the office so there's no confining spaces and the time in order to get the scan completed is how long? About five minutes, less than five minutes for personal calibration. And then, you know, you're set, uh, you can get your uh, results uh, real time on a tablet, Bluetooth activated. So this is, this is technology that is truly disruptive. It's going to be game changing in the clinic. And we're going to be able to, now we're going to have biomarkers. We're going to have an ability to actually see, diagnose and say, okay, you're depressed because we can see this brain pattern. You've got ADHD because you've got this brain pattern. So there's a whole array of things that will start to fall out with this because now we're going to have it readily accessible in the office. So very exciting. We are very excited. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to come by. Well, thank you very much for taking the time for the interview.